Hello friends, this video on diversity in living world part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So remember the process of digestion which we had discussed in the lesson on life processes, right? So what happens during digestion? We all eat so many complex food material, right? In the form of uh, bread, wheat, rice, vegetables, fruits, right? That is what we all consume. But they do not get digested in the same form inside our body. We all eat food. Why do we eat food? To survive, to get energy. So if we don't eat for some time, maybe if, if you fast for a day or two, you tend to become weak, right? Why? Because the energy which we get to do any kind of work, it comes basically from the food which we eat. So now how is that food which is in the complex form when we eat them broken down into simpler form? Now the food goes inside our mouth, it passes through the, there is some saliva, the watery material inside our mouth which mixes up with the food. So the food tend to become softer. We grind them with our teeth so that they break into smaller particles and then gradually through the alimentary canal. So this is the alimentary canal, right? So through this canal, it reaches the stomach. And inside the stomach are present the gastric glands. What do the gastric glands do? So this is the stomach. And inside the stomach are gastric glands which produce the enzymes, hydrochloric acid and mucus. Now all these things actually help in the digestion. So enzymes actually make digestion possible. So how these enzymes will act on the food material? So what will actually happen inside the stomach? Chemical reactions, right? Because enzymes are nothing but chemical substances. So they will act on the food and they will break down it into even smaller particles. So what is happening? Chemical reaction. Similarly, the food will up through after the stomach, it passes to the small intestine, right? So what happens in the intestine again? So there also digestion happens. So there is a pancreas and a liver. So from pancreas comes some other enzymes called pancreatic amylase and pancreatic lipase, which act, help in digestion of starch and fat. Similarly, from the liver comes the bile juice, which activates these pancreatic and intestinal enzymes. So these enzymes will act on the food material, then they'll help in digestion. So how these enzymes act? So continuously inside our body some or the other chemical reaction is taking place. Now just imagine what would happen if this process stops working, if these chemical reactions doesn't happen. So what will happen? Whatever food we eat, it will not at all get digested. So we will not get any energy. So we will not be able to survive. Now in case you want to know about this process of digestion in detail, you can refer to the videos of class 10th on life processes. So now let us take another example of another important process which happens in our body, that is respiration. So what happens in respiration? Now respiration involves two things. One is gaseous exchange, that is we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. So gaseous exchange is one part of respiration which is also known as external respiration. And the second thing is oxidation of assimilated molecules to produce energy. So here in the process of digestion, the food is taken in, it is digested, it is absorbed by the body and then these molecules, how these molecules actually produce energy, that is taken care by the process of respiration. So in respiration also, if you look at the process in detail, you will see there are several steps like glycolysis where glucose gets converted into pyruvate, then Krebs cycle and electron transport chain. I'm not getting into the detail of all those things, but what I'm trying to say is even during these processes taking place, there are a set of chemical reactions which happen inside our body. So if you look at the the overall uh, equation for respiration it is something like this glucose is oxidized to give carbon dioxide water and energy in the form of ATP molecules 
so what is this glucose this glucose is nothing but the food material during the process of digestion gets broken down into the most simplest form and that most simplest form is nothing but glucose then this glucose is oxidized to produce energy in the form of atp molecules and this is the energy which we actually utilize in doing various activities right so you see these are the, so many chemical reactions occur inside the body not only this if you look at the process of excretion what happens in excretion the waste products of our body are taken out of the body like wastes like urea or uric acid are removed from the blood so how is that done by producing urine where is urine produced it is produced in the kidneys so even during the process of production of urine what happens so if you look at the structure inside the kidney so kidneys are made up of nephrons so nephrons are the basic filtration unit so this is how the structure of a nephron looks like so in nephron what happens is all the substances like glucose amino acid salt water etc are present in that liquid which we call as urine so whatever is useful is absorbed from that and whatever is waste like urea or uric acid that goes out in the form of urine from our body through the urethra right so here i have given examples of these three processes digestion respiration and excretion just to tell that inside every living organism there are a set of chemical reactions which happen and without them the living organism cannot be alive right so these metabolism or these metabolic reactions are a characteristic of living organism so for a non living organism maybe a chair a table a bottle a pen pencil paper for all of them there are no metabolic reactions so there are no living reactions taking place inside the inside their body so metabolic reactions or metabolism is again another characteristic or another feature that define life or that characterize life so metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exception that means in this there is no exception at all every living organism must be undergoing a set of metabolic reactions inside their body isolated metabolic reactions in vitro are not living things but living reactions now you would have seen that in laboratories sometimes it happens that the reactions which happen inside our body similar environment is created in laboratory and the reactions are made to occur for example whatever reaction happen inside our body it happens at a specific temperature it happens in a specific type of medium right it happens in presence of specific chemical substances now they can all be created virtually also you can create the same environment in the lab as well so when those reactions take place in the lab we do not say that the lab is a living thing so those reactions are living reactions that means the reactions which happen inside living organism but that organism is not living right so living organisms are those inside which metabolic reactions or metabolism happens on its own thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again